Wednesday night, Fairfield police arrested 22-year-old Declan Cott of Easton, all in connection with the hit-and-run death of 32-year-old Mari Morel Araujo on Redding Road Saturday night. It's unfathomable that as a first responder, you leave somebody there to die. Her brother was the victim's fiance. Cott, a volunteer firefighter, is also an elected constable in Easton. We started to scour for surveillance videos and uh, we were able to obtain uh, a vehicle in the same time frame that we believe that the accident happened that represented some of what the witness gave us. Police focused on finding a white Dodge pickup with specific features. That led them to a traffic stop of Cot Tuesday afternoon. There was more distinct things that we were able to obtain from surveillance footage, such as uh, placards on the vehicle that gave us some specificity to the type of vehicle and the type of uh, rims. Police said Cod had already fixed the passenger side mirror that hit Mari Morel Araujo in the head as she walked her dog in front of her future sister-in-law's home. She was due to be married before the end of the year. My brother's a retired state trooper, so he goes back and forth. He goes from trooper mode to an emotional mess. It took police almost a day and a half from the time they stopped Cot until they received a signed arrest warrant. And they characterized his demeanor during the investigation as cooperative. We're able to extract some of that information and apply it to what we already knew which helped the investigation along. Police would not confirm if Declan Cott admitted to hitting the woman or if he was under the influence of drugs or alcohol at the time of the accident. Tonight, a vigil at the accident scene beginning at 8 o'clock. Here in Fairfield, Tony Terzi, Fox 61 News.